las luces que a lo lejos van marcando mi retorno. Son las mismas que alumbraron con sus pálidos reflejos ondas horas de dolor. Y aunque no quise el regreso, siempre se vuelve al primer amor. La vieja calle donde el eco dijo, tuya es su vida, tuyo es su querer. Bajo el burlón mirar de las estrellas, que con indiferencia hoy me ven volver, volver. Con la frente marchita, las nieves del tiempo platearon mi cielo. Que es un soplo la vida, que veinte años no es nada, que es febril la mirada, errar en las sombras de boca y de nombra. Vivir con el alma aferrada a un dulce recuerdo que lloro otra vez. Tengo miedo del encuentro con el pasado que vuelve a enfrentarse con mi vida. Tengo miedo de las noches que pobladas de recuerdos encadenen mi sonía. Pero el viajero que huye tarde o temprano me tiene su andar. Y aunque lo olvido que todo destruye, al la matado mi vieja ilusión guardo escondida una esperanza humilde que es toda la fortuna de mi corazón volver con la frente marchita las nieves del tiempo platearon mi cielo sentir que es un soplo la vida que veinte años no es nada, que febril la mirada, errar en la sombra, te busca y te no. Justin, please come in. Welcome. Wow. You're more beautiful than your picture. <laughs> oh, thanks for the wine. It's a beautiful house. Far as hell. <laughs> but it's wonderful. Well, sometimes a man needs to get away to enjoy a little privacy. Mm. Excuse my accent. English is not my first language. Tú no tienes nada de qué preocuparte. ¿De dónde viene ese acento tan sensual? <laughs> I just picked up bits from people from all walks of life, but I um, understand it better than I speak it. Se ti va possiamo anche parlare in italiano. Bravo. ¿Hace cuánto vives acá? I've been here for quite some time. What a wonderful table. What a wonderful guest. So, is it your catch? You show the sunset to everyone you bring here? <laughs> No one's made it this far into the house. Should I be scared? Or is it a compliment? You tell me. I thought you were bluffing about the painting thing. Well. You are going to have to wait and see when I'm finished. 
won't you? You could put your drink down. Could you stand up for me? That's it. Supuesto que no. Well, you'll forgive an old man. Picked up that night and this man. Fue todo eso. Pass control. I hate to hear them suffer. 
Come on. Dinner's ready. Did I mention that I'm vegan? Like a hundred times. <laughs> Do you know how difficult it is to make a vegan lasagna? So you went to college? Yes. What for? Data analytics. Ooh, sounds fancy. También tomé clases de psicología. ¿Estás seguro de que esto no tiene ni queso ni leche? Bueno, si tomaste clases de psicología, then you could read human behavior and know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> wow, what a diligent little vegan you are. You lied to me. You told me you work advising companies. Consulting. Same thing. And that's what I do. I work analyzing personal data to sell it to private companies so they can better deal with the marketing. Oh. A new twist to an old trick. So tell me more. Para ser alguien que no tiene redes sociales, Luz es bastante interesado en el tema. Uh oh. You did your homework and stalked me. <laughs> I get it. A young, vulnerable boy like you wouldn't go off 200 miles without doing a little research. Right. You're right, I, I don't like social media. I'm, I'm not interested. I'm, I'm interested in real people, so. Tell me more about you. Looks like I'm not the only stalker here. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm not the one who works selling other people's personal data. Estoy bien, gracias. David, I have to go. I just got a message from a friend asking me to take out his stuff. Es que el perro está todo el día en el apartamento y, y él tiene que trabajar hasta tarde. Yeah. It's all right. Um, yeah, you should go help your friend. Fue una linda noche. I hope you invite me again soon. I hope you can come back again soon. <laughs> and you want to wait for your ride here? There's some restless raccoons out there. I will call him a ride from outside. All right. Can I have a hug? <laughs> of course. Mm. What a gorgeous boy you are. Thanks for dinner. I see you soon. Hey, ¿qué haces? No, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. Just stay for a little while longer. Just a little while. Baby, I have to go now. Just a little while. Abre la puerta. I have money if you want. Yo no soy ninguna puta. Models get paid. Abre la puerta! No one can hear you. So what you learn in grad school? What do you want from me? You promised something too. Come on. You want it. Estuviste calentando toda la noche. I'm sorry. I just want to get to know you better. There's something in your eyes. 
sein. Maybe I really like you. Don't fuck it up. And if you go, how do I know if I'll ever see you again? I guess you wanna have to trust me. Trust you? Gee, I hope your friend's dog is all right. You're gonna have to earn that trust. Look, let's finish the painting and then I promise we'll figure this out. ¿Cuánto tiempo falta? No tanto. Can you give me an estimate? Not long. As long as... As long as you stop talking and hold your fucking pose. this tomorrow. We just thought about this. Justin, I need you to spend the night and we could finish this tomorrow. There'll be no more promises. Let me go now, I'm please. I'm not letting you go in the middle of the night with a stranger to Miami. It's not safe. date.
It's almond milk. I could show you the carton. Can I use the rice one? Sure. I'm sorry, I have to. Wait for me here. Let's get to work. Attractive. I used to tell my son, don't bite your nails. It's a sign of weakness. Do you also give him like that? Only to protect him from himself. It's organic. <sighs> I've seen hunger strikes before. They're usually for bigger causes. They almost never work.
Pues sabías que el tango era el baile de la puta. No respectable woman would dance it. Entonces los hombres lo bailaban juntos. Decían que era para practicarlo. Aunque no quise el regreso, siempre se vuelve para el primer amor. La vieja calle donde le cobijo. May I see your hands? People can't have the freedom. Sometimes. You have to learn the hard way. Organic honey. I don't put anything in my tea. Como está el té? Entonces tienes un hijo. Sí. Y una esposa también. Cuérate. How long have you been a vegan? Almost three years. Hmm. Let me ask you a personal question. And please tell me the truth. What do you really like to eat when no one's watching? <laughs> There's that smile. How old is your son? Probably around your age. That's so cliche. No, es lo que piensas. But it's true. No. Yo podría no. Hacer. Besides, don't pretend that's not what turned you on when you saw my picture on the app. What's wrong with your dad? Did he leave you or something? What about my dad? Nope, nothing. Anyway, my dad's an asshole. He was a diplomat. I always do easy to pay attention to me. That proves my point.
Che, Olga-san. Go get me the fertilizer from the shelf around the corner, please. Dale. Where'd you find that? A la vuelta de la esquina. A la vuelta de la esquina. Where's that sexy accent come from? From somewhere between La Patagonia and Rio Bravo. I think you're exaggerating. What about Brazil? Do you speak Portuguese? Muito bom. <laughs> you're so full of yourself. <laughs> Tenha certeza, você não vai manter a mim aqui por muito. Os carnavais do Rio são os mais bonitos do mundo. O que você disse? Eu entendi algo sobre o carnaval. Vicky! Vicky! Meet the only woman in my life. <laughs> Hola. ¿Cuánto tiempo llevo acá? Well, she's been in captivity. The pretty bird. Pretty bird. What? Well, you're a pretty bird. She's been in captivity 30 years, but she's only been with me for 15. This old man I used to know died and left her to me. <gasps> Qué linda. Pretty linda. How old is she? Older than you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Vicky. Vicky, let's not make a little pig of ourselves. No. Shh, 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 shh. Hey, our guest is gonna think we're all a bunch of pájaros locos in esta casa, eh? Vení para acá. Quiero que pruebes algo. Es peligroso. ¿Qué? ¿No has escuchado que el amor entra por la cocina? <laughs> ¿Y por dónde se va? <laughs> uh, hand me the, the bottle opener in the left drawer. Find it? See? More salad? No, sir. I'm fine. ¿Has visto a nadie comer? Are your parents divorced? No. Why? I don't know. You seem like the only child with divorced parents. Are you trying to profile me again? Eres bastante insistente. But yes, I'm an only child. You see? Más sabe el diablo por viejo que por diablo. Sí, pero mis padres todavía siguen juntos. My problem wasn't that my parents had a bad relationship with each other. They just lived in a completely different world than I did. 
Or maybe you lived in a different world from them. Maybe. But I was the one being a teenager. Hmm. Was it really that hard? It was for me. When I was 12, we moved to a consulate in Buenos Aires. Mm -hmm. I met the son of one of the diplomats. Uh-oh. Every the noon, we walk it out and wander around the consulate garden. Since it was winter, there was no one else outside. Mm -hmm. But my mama, que me conoce bastante bien, una vez no siguió. Patricio tenía su mano dentro de mi pantalón. Me estaba masturbando. Yo le mordía sus labios. I was almost naked. I didn't feel cold. What did your mother do? Ella esperó que termináramos. Y después nos sorprendió. Fue uno de los peores momentos de mi vida. <laughs> That night, she came into my room to have a talk. She said that she understood I could feel attracted to people from the same sex as me, and that was okay. She said that my dad would understand too. You have no idea how relief I was. Finalmente dejé de sentirme menos sucio y culpable. I know. People search for that feeling their whole lives. I'll let you know when I find it. Not too good to be true. Me dijo que no podía seguir viendo a Patricio. Que tenía que mantener lo que soy en secreto. Me hizo prometerle que no podía decírselo a nadie. Porque eso podía perjudicar la carrera de mi padre y nuestro futuro. Aparte de eso, Son unos padres maravillosos. Well, at least you didn't have one of those dads that kicks you out of the house or throws you in the military. Were you one of those dads? Does your tattoo mean? <laughs> I was wondering when you'd ask me about that. It's a big secret. Some Arab boy in Afghanistan talked me into getting one, and I thought, what do I want on my back for the rest of my life? Sort of a Hemingway quote. It says, every story played long enough always ends in death. Desde mi romance con aquel chico de Buenos Aires, comencé a sentirme atraído por los hombres mayores. How much older? Trouble. I'm all ears. Eres muy morboso. <laughs> Y 
Una tarde estaba en casa de un amigo. Y él tuvo que salir con su mamá a hacer algunas compras. Entonces yo me quedé con su padre viendo la televisión. Ah. En algún momento me di cuenta que el señor tenía su mano dentro del pantalón. Y se estaba tocando. Jesus Christ. Se tocaba mucho, sí, mientras me miraba. Well, what happened? He looked at his dick. Then he looked at me and he said, you want to hand me up? And I did. He didn't force you? No. Then why did you do it? Because I want it. You were too young to know what you wanted. I was John, not stupid. <laughs> Still, he should have known better. You're right. And then what happened? My friend's mom came home, and we had dinner. It didn't bother you to be around him after that? No, no, no. Honey, the guy was a fucking pedophile. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Fancy, huh? <laughs> you like to play the old man on the sea? Bueno, bueno. Gracias por lo de viejo, eh? Don't tell me. This offends your vegan sensibilities. <laughs> Supongo que estos invitados no pudieron sobrevivir la convivencia contigo. Bueno, estás equivocado. Who they couldn't survive? Where's Mikey? <laughs> He wasn't the best caretaker. No lo culpo. La primera vez que mis padres me compraron peces fue una masacre. Al otro día amanecieron todos muertos en la pecera. ¿Te te vas a cometer suicidio? Eres un idiota. I'm just saying. <laughs> Now you tell me why doesn't a Sexy, young, okay, a little cocky guy like you. Not have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever the fuck you kids call yourselves these days. ¿Quién te dijo que no tengo novio? Well, he doesn't seem to be very worried about you. Give me my phone. Let me check for myself. No. Trust me. He doesn't care.
Can I borrow another chart? Sure. How do I look? Like an 80s movie? <laughs> Come here. Let's find something better for you. Talent runs in the family. Sorry, I don't know how to make pancakes without eggs and real milk. I won't eat. You don't have to eat it. But I can help you. <laughs> Put some syrup on it. Mm, I'm good. You'll like it. No, 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 keep your shirt on. I wanted a dog, but my parents would only let me have fish. Conmigo les era suficiente, no querían cuidar a nadie más. Well, I understand them perfectly. Claro. Lo dice un tipo que tiene un loro encerrado hace 30 años. No encerrado. They're just borrowed. Everything is borrowed, don't you think? I mean, our bodies, we use them until they fall apart. Well, then some asshole hunter comes along and shoots you in your prime, stuffs you and hangs you on his wall. Right, Bambi? It was about seven when he started having anxiety attacks. We took him to this really expensive psychiatrist. 
who said, buy him a fucking fish tank. He'll calm down. <laughs> he spent hours just watching the fish. You want that to go fish? You like it? You want to try it? Come on, put your hand on there. Okay. Yeah, come on. Dale. <laughs> You're doing so well. You've been on a boat before. <laughs> Nothing gives you a greater sense of freedom than the ocean. Freedom is just a concept. <laughs> Philosopher. It's nice to see people sometimes, isn't it? Just like that, you say hello and you don't think you're the only one left in este puto mundo. People suck. You know that, right? Ha! Ah! Fish on! <laughs> we have a good dinner tonight. You want to kill him? I don't know. You know what I learned in Afghanistan? When you have a life in your hands, and you can just easily snuff it out. Saving a life feels just as good. But sometimes, you have a choice. Freedom could kill her. Ah, pretty bird. Animals, unlike people, know when they have a good. Mm. Ah. I had that excuse before. Really? Well, enlighten me, please. Esclavistas, esposos abusadores, y algún que otro dictador ocasional. Usaron ese mismo concepto. Thank you for including me in that selective group of personalities. ¿Tu hijo sabía que era gay? Por supuesto que sí. I couldn't have hidden it my whole life. What did he say? When his mother and I first separated, I tried to be the best dad I could be. No quería ser como mi viejo, viste? So, I felt bad for ruining his childhood, so I just... Never said no to him. One day his mother called me hysterical, said that he'd been sneaking out of the house at night and that she thought he was using drugs and I told her she was being paranoid. She locked him in his room, she locked the doors and the windows and it didn't work. He got out. You have to give people a reason to stay. What is he then? Ta. 
Cada vez que me mudé, tuve que aprender un nombre nuevo para ese color. Carmelita. Marrón. Café, castaño. Chocolate. Canela. Brown. Chile yo voy a todas las tardes. One of my favorite moments was standing behind the window and watching the rain fail. A todos los chicos les gusta la lluvia. Una vez en la escuela, cuando tenía unos 12 años, estaba sentado en la cafetería esperando que pasara la lluvia. Cerca de mí le celebraban el cumpleaños a uno de los profesores. Era un tipo amable. Me invitó a comer un pedazo de pastel con ellos. En algún momento nos quedamos solos. Y él se sentó detrás de mí. Puso sus manos en mis hombros y comenzó a acariciarlos. Sentí su nariz en mi nuca. Me está oliendo. No paraba de decirme que era un niño muy especial. It was nice to feel nourished. I guess even though there was Something wrong about it. Fuck! Hey! Shh. What? Shh. Crocs will have a nice dinner tonight. We can fix this. Can we? You are now. You and I know there's going to be consequences. You can't keep me here forever. Oh, yeah, I fucking can. What do you think this is? Some kind of fucking little game? Huh? You're right. This is not a game. This is a kidnap. I'm not fucking kidnapping you! Yes, you run! ¿Y qué es pretender que yo estoy disfrutando de tu compañía? You 
are such a fucking little liar. You gotta stop, man! Who is using me to Shut fuck up! Jenny Shut up! We fucking up. junkie son! No! 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 Good join us for guests. You're right. I've been lying to you. My father was never against me being a gay. Shut the fuck up. You carry on your own problems. I don't have an explanation for why I'm attracted to older men. Or why I did the things I did. This is not the best version of me, but es con la que tengo que aprender a vivir. Is that the story today? You know what I think? I think you need a better education. So, read a fucking book.
you know why you will never be able to finish painting that portrait? Because you're looking for something that you will not find. If you want to continue psychoanalyzing me, I can leave you alone for a little while longer. Puedes encerrarme todo el tiempo que quieras. Castigarme. Cuidarme compulsivamente. Pero eso no va a resolver tus problemas con Mike. He did. David. He did. After four years of living with me, Mike ran away. One day he showed up on my doorstep with nothing but the shirt on his back. a ghost of Mike standing there. More horrible than anything I ever saw in the war. Couldn't believe it was him. We just stood there. Staring at each other. He'd been living on the streets in San Francisco, and this friend of his, he was... His friend died next to him of an overdose, and so he decided to come home. He asked me if he could stay with me for a little while. I said, of course, Mikey. This is your home. He said that done. That he thought I wouldn't take him in. so little of me, he thought I would turn away my dying son. Those few days, I... I read him books. I told him stories about him as a kid. <laughs> I told him about how his mother and I first met. And I told him how fucking proud I was to have him as a son. And I told him how much I loved him. I didn't even know. He didn't know how much I loved him. 
until that time together and I just... Uh, I was just trying to catch up for lost time, you know? And I... <laughs> we even fixed this fucking fish tank <laughs> and filled it with fish. But he was... He was so skinny. So I... I, I cooked for him, and I, I fed him, and I, I made him pancakes like when he was a little boy. But he was lying to me. One night, I found him alone on the floor. He, uh, he was shaking, and he could barely control the trembling in his hands, and he was leaning up against the wall, hugging his knees, like he used to when he was a baby. Keep on fucking using. It didn't. It didn't matter what I did. I couldn't control him, and so he uh begged me to give him some dope, and so I um. I knew he was really sick. I knew <clears throat> I had to get him help, but I couldn't, I, I couldn't bring myself to take him in, you know, I didn't have the heart for it, so I just gave him some sleeping pills and then I just sat on the floor with him and sang him a tango. This one my father used to sing to me and, and, and then, we both fell asleep on the floor, his little head on my shoulder. And I knew in the morning I had to take him to a clinic. But when he woke up, he was gone. I. So I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if he's dead, I don't know, but whatever he fucking is, it's my fault. <laughs> I'm not here because my father gave me a bad education. If something happened to me, he wouldn't be here for. I decided the lie he wanted to leave. Maybe the one he's still living.
time you heal the mail truck. You can go now, honey. You can go. Just go. <laughs> David, you need help. Just go. Hey, have you seen this guy? Oh, all right. Well, call, call me if you do. My number's on there. Thanks. Sorry, um, it's all right. Have you seen this guy? His name is Mike. Goes by Mikey. All right, well, my number's on there if you should, uh, if you should find him. Here, let's get something to eat. Just get something to eat. Just, uh, thank you. Thanks so much. 